Hi guys. Okay, welcome to my channel. I know, I know, it's a very long overdue video. But here I am today. Okay, so we are going to learn on chapter 14, Support and Movement in Humans and Animals. And uh, our subtopic for today is going to be on 14.1, which is the types of skeleton. It's a very short topic, so I hope you are ready with your pen and paper. And yeah, let's do this. Okay, so let's look at the learning standard first before we move on. Okay, so here you are supposed to be able to list the types of skeleton in humans and also animals. So we have three types of uh, skeletons that we are going to look into in this chapter, which is hydrostatic skeleton, exoskeleton, and also endoskeleton. Okay, so these three, you must know what are these skeleton. Okay, and also to justify the necessity of skeleton in humans and also in animals. So why is skeletal system important? So these two things only. So it's very short topic, which we are going to cover in a very short time. Okay, so what is the purpose of locomotion? Okay, so, um, you know, locomotion, the movement eh, of um, the whole organism from place to place. So, types of locomotion we have is like walking, running, crawling, swimming, crawling, flying, or crawling twice there. <laughs> okay, all these are types of locomotion. There are many other locomotion as well. Now, what are the necessity of this, uh, you know, uh, skeletal system? Well, first is actually to provide support, okay, for the body as it gives uh, the body shape. Huh? So, provide supports means that uh, the skeletal system actually supports the body weight, okay. It allows humans and animals to stand upright against the gravitational pull, okay. It also gives shape, okay, to the body. So, without skeleton, humans and animals are just merely clump of large tissue, organs and also hair. And then it also uh, makes locomotion possible, okay, uh, skeletal system actually enables the contraction and relaxation of muscles, okay, that are attached to the skeleton producing movement, okay, and then it also protects the uh, tissue and also internal organ, eh, such as uh, brain, heart, lungs and other organs, okay, from physical injuries. Then the skeletal system especially okay in the bone marrow okay it's a living tissue actually so it actually produces the uh, red blood cells okay um, then what else storage of calcium and uh, phosphorus okay so this is a uh, you know a necessity of the skeletal system where it is a storage for various types of minerals huh, that can be used by other body parts in the condition of mineral deficiency. Okay, so these are all the importance of the skeletal system. Now, types of skeletal system. Okay, skeletal is a structure that supports the body of a human or animal. Okay, so there are three types of skeleton uh, in the human and also animals. So we have here exoskeleton. Okay, um, examples of exoskeleton is uh, insect, mollusk, mollusk like seashell, oyster. Okay, so these are the examples of uh, animals with exoskeleton, skeleton outside the body. Then we have endoskeleton. Okay, endoskeleton example here is all the vertebrates. We have the skeleton in our body. Okay, and we have hydrostatic skeleton, another type of skeleton where uh, they depend on hydrostatic pressure. Okay, mostly like fluid-like. So these are examples like earthworm, jellyfish and also caterpillar. Okay, so what is exoskeleton? Now, exoskeleton is made up of hard and rigid substances, okay, like, uh, like chitin and also calcium. And the segmented chitin uh, exoskeleton, they provide protection, okay, support and also allow movements in animals of uh, phylum, uh, arthropoda. Uh, for example, we have here insect and also uh, crab, all right? And um, now, uh, the calcium exoskeleton, they actually provide okay, protection, okay, and then they support the ability to swim, okay, for some animals, uh, especially in class of mollusks, such as uh, seashells, bivalves, and also oyster, 
Okay, so we have two types, chitin exoskeleton and also calcium carbonate exoskeleton. All right. So the drawback here is that exoskeleton, they cannot grow. Okay, so what must animal do to become larger? Yeah, they have to undergo a process called agdesis, which means shedding of the exoskeleton. So to grow, they have to shed their exoskeleton and then uh, they can grow bigger. Okay, now the internal skeleton, which is the endoskeleton, okay, it comprises a frame of bones and cartilage, which are rigid for the attachment of body. Okay, body muscles and also tissue basically. Okay, so the individual bone components are bound to each other by um, ligaments at the joints. Alright, so the endoskeleton actually provides supports, okay, allows movements, alright, and uh, it protects the internal organ, gives shape and support to the body, store minerals, so all that whatever you have seen um, in the first slide just now, okay, the necessity of uh, skeletal system. Alright, so they are usually found in all vertebrates, whatever that has skeleton inside the body. Okay, that is uh, the animals that have endoskeleton. Okay, and lastly, hydrostatic skeleton, which is actually produced from the support of fluid pressure. Okay, or hydrostatic pressure in space surrounded by a network of muscles. Okay, so they have the fluid filled cavity over here. Alright, so this enclosed fluid, they will form a skeleton which is actually compressible for muscle contraction. Okay, so they are usually found in primarily uh, soft body invertebrates, okay, uh, terrestrial or aquatic. Alright, for example, we have earthworm here or cynadrians. Uh, you have seen just now a jellyfish. Okay, so hydrostatic uh, skeleton actually provides support, okay, enables movement of animals such as uh, earthworm and also caterpillars okay so they have actually internal fluids which is held under pressure in compartments surrounded by muscles okay and since the liquid cannot escape so it forms a skeleton that cannot be compressed so this will make the soft wall structure okay of this uh, earthworm is so rigid that the muscle can act against it so it moves muscle contraction also with the help of this hydrostatic pressure coming from the fluid that is filled in the cavity all right Okay, there's a video here on types of skeleton. I will uh, put this video link in the description box below for you to actually uh, look back into the types of skeleton in a much clearer view. Okay, so I'll put this in the description box. You can go and watch it. All right. So that's it. We are done. Okay, so it's a very short one. So you must be able to list down what are the types of skeleton and also what are these skeletons. Um, and also the necessity of a skeletal system in the human body. So I think we have covered all that. So since we are done, so let's do formative practice for 14.1. Okay, get it done and then you can check your answers in the description box below. Okay. So done. With that, I will end my video here. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Bye.